Hello guys. So a lot of people uh, these days are uh, talking about this is X. It's not Twitter uh, which converted into X by Elon Musk. It's not it. But yeah, it is a disease just like Twitter. Why Twitter has been converted into X? Because Elon Musk told that Twitter is not just a you know communication platform. It can do anything. It has lot of potential. So just like that, this is X has lot of potential. It can do lot worse than pandemic like uh, our COVID nineteen. So COVID nineteen, uh, there were around seventy lakhs people that have been killed, but this is X has potential to be uh, one of the greatest killer out of all time. Uh, like uh, it can kill five crore people uh, approximately. That's what they said. So we do we know what this is X is? Where is it? Where is it? So it is nowhere right now. It is potentially out there. That's what they're saying. It's a cautionary tale, you can say. uh why these people uh, at uh, who uh, talking so much about it it's not recently happened let me tell the history behind behind it right so where does this uh, disease x come from is it because of pandemic no guys it's not uh, because of pandemic we are afraid now and and you know looking out for the potential diseases out there it is uh, this the term has been formed by who in in 2018 18 Why? In 2014, there was an outbreak of Ebola, which killed a lot of people actually. So because of that, uh, WHO formed this uh, research and development team called R and D Blueprint. What is it? R and D Blueprint. Uh, what they do is they search for potential uh, pandemic causing viruses or pathogen. You can say easily. Pathogen is nothing but anything that can cause disease in your body. So pathogen is not just virus. Pathogen is can be virus bacteria fungi or any of these things right anything that can cause a pandemic or epidemic that's what they are talking about so what they did is they have created a, a um, imaginary disease where that disease has the highest potential of causing all this uh, you know severe symptoms and killing lot of people and uh, who is uh, trying to get some budget for that that's the main reason so why why if, uh, if we have an imaginary disease we will be prepared if we are prepared for that worst disease we are prepared for any disease so r and d blueprint what they are doing is uh, they are uh, forming some uh, scientists of 200 people together and they are building this uh, vaccine trying to build a, a common customizable vaccine a formula where any disease can come new disease can come just by customizing it little bit like one key to many locks just by changing little bit of lock structure you can uh, create a vaccine so they are trying to build that for that they need lot of funding right so they have created this maybe mostly this is the reason in my opinion that they have created this uh, imaginary disease called disease x so uh, by using this uh, imaginary disease putting the you know standards are very high uh, who is telling that if we are prepared for this we are prepared for everything everything even though it's not an actual disease it's a imaginary disease uh, who put this disease x into its priority diseases list what is that like ebola covid all of the, they they have a list of you know 10 uh, some uh, 10 to some number of diseases which are uh, you know has potential to cause severe pandemic or epidemic they have put this disease in that list and said that if we are prepared for this we are prepared for every other disease that's the uh, main essence of this uh, whole uh, issue right uh, so if you understand this that will be uh, great for your you know current uh, no, uh, current affairs knowledge and uh, you can talk to your friends about it or uh, even if you are writing for a competitive exams this will be asked uh, because uh, because of recent pandemic and this has become a recent uh, you know phenomena uh, everyone is talking about it and what else what else so this uh, why did why did this come into the picture right now why it is in news because uh, there was a woman called kate bingham like singham yeah kate bingham she in uk's uh, vaccine task force it's a committee they they uh, you know come and sit and talk about uh, vaccine developments and all there she has given this estimates like 500 crore uh, five, five, 5 crore people can be killed because of this disease x and it will be very easily spread these are all uh, imaginary scenarios where uh, this bingham bingham wants us to be prepared nationally and for, uh, internationally if we are prepared for this is x we are prepared for everything else that's that's how all this uh, issue has come into the picture in news right hope this is useful if you need more information like this you can actually uh, you know comment in the comment section i will try to do more of this right thank you see you later